Hey guys, so this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use jQuery click events or just any events in general on elements that have not yet been created in the DOM. So for this example, I have this page with one button that doesn't have any events on it yet. I'm going to add a click event. As you can see, there's only one button there. And then I have a blank JS file that I'm going to use. So first, let me attach a click event in the typical way. So I'm going to take anything that has the class clicky and say on, on click. I want to just alert something to the user. So clicked. So let me save that and refresh the page. So once I click it, I should see the pop up clicked. There we go. So now if I want to add a new button with the same class, what happens with that click of it? So I'll do this. I'll add a button to the button container div that I created earlier. And I'm gonna have it have the same exact class as quotes won't work in there. I'll have it have the same class as the existing button and we'll see if the click of it works on this new button. So let's call it new button. All right, so I've added the new button to the screen. The first button has a click event. The second button does not have a click event, even though they have the same class, clicky. The reason is because this event here, this on click, only works on elements that were around when this function was first called. Anything that comes after won't have a click event. So. Let me refresh the page and let me show you how to change this very slightly so it will work on any elements created after this initial call. So instead of attaching the event to directly to the class, I'm going to attach it to document. So document.on and the first argument of on is going to be the event. So click. The second parameter instead of being the callback function the second parameter is going to be the selector for all the elements I want to apply the click event to so in this case clicky and then the third argument will be the click event okay so let me remove this one save and refresh so if I click this I should see the alert again there it is new click so now I'm going to add the new button using the same class clicky and now if I press this the click event should work there we go so now the click event is on both buttons and it's on this new button even though it was created after this event was created. So that's all I want to show you guys for this video. Thanks for watching.